In this video, I'm going to show you how to log your game with the simple who has the ball, the ODK information, down distance, yard, play type, result, and those sorts of tags. So what we've got is in our data grid, when you've got your columns here, we've got a default set of um, tags that you're going to always have access to. And we've got some auto calculation built into the system. So you don't have to fill in everything every time. It makes it pretty repetitive. So um, the auto calculations help you do that um, and get through a game much easier. So the first thing you're going to want to do is when you're in your game, you go to your grid and let's take out all the, the columns that we don't need because they're just going to get in our way. So we can go to any one of our headers here, go to columns, and then let's just start unchecking things that we know we don't need. So we don't need any of our custom tags. We don't need the review or play comment. And then we're going to take out the play clip ID, the playlist, the angle. So all we need are these basic tags, the who has the ball, ODK, quarter, down, distance, um, all the way through results. Now the next thing we're going to do is I'm going to rearrange these to make it easier for me to log. Uh, so I'm actually going to take I'm going to take these zone fields and move them over here. And the only reason I've done that is these these field zones, distance zones, and gain zones. These are automatically filled in based on the data here, and they. We don't want them to be in our way over here, so I like to move them over to the side here. So they still get filled in, um, but they don't get in my way of uh, when I'm tabbing through and, and entering in the data. Uh, now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take the play type and move it in between the yard and the end. Now the reason I've done this is you'll notice that there is a specific, specific order of these tags. So when I'm looking at a play, beginning of the play, let's go to a actual player so before the play even starts I know who has the ball so let's do that so I can click in I can use my arrow keys I'm gonna say the pioneers now I can tab so press the tab key to tab over okay I don't need to fill in the ODK because that actually gets automatically filled in from the play type I'm gonna tab over go to quarter I know it's first quarter arrow down first tab I'm going to fill in first down, tab, it's 10. I'm going to tab over, and I know my beginning yard line is the 28 yard line. Okay. Now, before I've even started, I know all this stuff, and this is that natural order of these tags, who has the ball, the ODK, all this stuff up to here. And so now as I watch this play, I'm going to know immediately what the play type is, and then I'm going to know what the yard end is, and then that's going to automatically fill in the gain, and then I can choose a result of the play, if there was a result, and then I can go down to the next play after that. Now we talked earlier about these auto fill zones. As I fill these in, you can see that they're auto filling. Okay? And these allow you to pull up filters much easier with some of the, uh, the number tags uh, that you have in here. So let's watch this play. And again, I'm using my, my keyboard. I'm not using my mouse, which makes it much easier to log and get through it. So I'm going to be ready to go here so I can see this. I can see it was probably a run. I'm going to tab. Looks like it's on the 13 yard line as the yard end. And now as I tab over, you'll see that it auto fills everything in. And that's technically probably a sack All right so let's pause it so as I filled in the yard end and tabbed over it then auto filled the gain and then everything on the next row that it knows because we know that it's gonna start out second 25 ball on the 13 yard line okay so that's the auto calculation so every time you tab you enter and you tab from your yard end, it autofills everything from there. Now, if, if any of these tags aren't filled in, it just won't fill these in. So just make sure whichever stuff, whichever tags you want filled in, have those, have those uh, entered in, and then it'll autofill those in the next row. Um, 
Now the other thing I mentioned is the auto, the ODK and the play type. Now these are tied together. So when I've entered in a run or pass, it automatically fills as an OD play. It's an offense defensive play. Now if I change this to maybe a PAT and I tab over, it changes to kicking. Then if I change it back to run, it goes back to OD. So you don't have to really worry about filling in the ODK unless that's all you're doing. If you just want to do who has the ball in ODK, then you can fill it in at that point. So, Other than that, that's a pretty good idea of how to use your, your tagging here and your uh, the auto calculations. Now the last thing I'll mention um, that may be a little bit confusing is the way that we use our yard lines. It may be a little bit different than what most people are used to. So when a team is, when offense is backed up here, um, some people will say this is actually the negative 13 yard line. We actually say this is the positive 13 yard line. So without our auto calculations, um, this is positive. So this is how we look at it. If you're an offense and you're working from the goal line up to midfield, you're gaining positive yardage from the 10 to the 20 to the 30. It's positive, positive gain. Now, once you cross midfield, an offense is going from the 50 or the 55 or whichever uh, league you're in, whether you're Canadian, outdoor, indoor. Once you cross midfield, you're going to be going from the 30 to the 20 to the 10. You're losing yardage. So that way, we call that negative. So once you cross midfield, you're now into negative 30, negative 20, negative 15. So when you're filling in these these yardages, if you've got these flipped around, you're going to see that your auto calcs don't look correct. They don't look they look funky. So just know that if you're an offense and you're you're backed up, okay, you're in um, your territory, they're positive. And once you cross midfield and you get into the other team's territory, those n those numbers turn negative. Okay. So if you need any other help. Feel free to go to our help section, help.vitswap.com, and check out our other videos.